Hey everyone, Scott Schaefer, A Theory of Nothing. I'm um, just doing a quick little, probably about 10 minute video here uh, from a new to me at least Mandela effect. So my wife and I were talking on the phone and she mentioned something to me about this new group that she had heard about. I've never heard of them before. And uh, she said, yeah, they're, they're playing several songs that she knows, but she doesn't remember them as a band. And she didn't know who the, who probably originally sung the songs. Um, so, And she couldn't even remember the name of the songs, but she knew the name of this band. So she told me the name of the band, and I Googled them. And I was like, oh, shit. So let me ask you in the comment section below. Do not Google this. I want you to pause the video after my question and answer this honestly for me, based on your memory. And if you don't remember, that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. And then see if it resonates with you even after I give you the spoiler at the end. Do you guys, any of you guys, remember the song, Play That Funky Music White Boy? Do you know who sang it? Like who recorded it? Not just who sang it, because people cover songs all the time. But who actually originally recorded that song? Go ahead and pause the video and let me know in the comments section who you think it was. I'll wait. No, seriously, go ahead, pause the video and then leave a comment. I'm still waiting for you to pause the video. All right, are we back? Cool. All right. If you said Wild Cherry you would be correct. Not for me from my Sagittarius timeline, but that's who recorded it now. And I ain't never even heard of the damn band Wild Cherry. I like it in Pepsi, but I ain't never heard of the actual band. Buck Cherry, heard of them, they're a newer band. Never heard of Wild Cherry. Apparently they're a 70s funk rock band. Now I know adamantly, without a shadow of a doubt, that Casey and the Sunshine Band is the one who sang that song. Which is why when my wife said, oh, have you ever heard a band called Wild Cherry? And I'm like, nope, never heard of them. And she goes, well, they're singing a song that's like a really, really popular song that I know we hear it all the time because it's like one of our favorite songs. She goes, but I don't remember them of ever singing it. So I had her on the phone, I Googled Wild Cherry. And lo and behold, the primary song that they are most widely well known for is, play that funky music. <laughs> and I said bullshit. So I told her, I said, I'll call you back. So I hung up with her and I listened to the damn video. And they have, I mean, the first, I don't know, 20 pages of, of Google are them and that song. I mean, that's what they're, they've, they've done other songs, but that's what they're really, really known for. And it was supposedly like the number one hit. It was like a blockbuster out of the park, platinum album and everything else. I adamantly know Casey and the Sunshine Band is the one who did it. Well, if you Google Casey and the Sunshine Band, play that funky music white boy you get Casey and the Sunshine Band singing play that funky music white boy before they were popular on a stage as a wild cherry cover song jaw drop yeah this one for me strikes right up there in the resonating frequency of smooth up in ya by Bullet Boys. And before I ever heard that shit, I ain't never ever heard of the Bullet Boys. Yet a lot of people that I know in this world that are in my, my realm of friends and stuff like that know who the fuck the Bullet Boys are. Now, I'm a guy that was really, really into uh, 70s funk rock bands, was really into the 80s hair bands, was really into the early um, Metallica, Megadeth, Quiet Riot, ACDC... Uh, Warrant, Rat. Um, I mean, there's, there's, God, there's so many, so many great bands, and I had never heard of the Bullet Boys. Now, you guys again can comment in the section, section below if you've ever heard of the Bullet Boys, uh, and I'll tell you that I actually met their drummer. He was here when, when I, I think I talked about this weird Mandela effect that my wife and I had, where we walked into a bar around Christmas time last year. 
and it felt like we had done it before. Like everyone around us, it was some guy's birthday who, who was in the bar, everyone knew him, and uh, this band, this cover band was there, and they just hired this new drummer who was from a former drummer of the Bullet Boys. And the Bullet Boys are still around, but they're, you know, they're doing like random tours here and there. They're kind of an older band because, you know, they're from the late 70s. Um, or no, they're from the 80s, sorry, they're late 80s. Uh, like 88, 89, long after Warren, Def Leppard, all those guys, right? Um, so, uh, anyways, I had never heard of them. I, I, I mean, I've heard of them before that because, ironically, like two weeks before that is when we heard Smooth Up In You on the radio and we're like, oh, yeah, I love this song. And I could have sworn that it was done by, um, that it was done by a, uh, a different band. I didn't know exactly who had done it. I thought it was Def Leppard had done Smooth Up In Ya, because that's what I had always remembered it being, but I wasn't 100% convinced on that one, but I know for a fact it wasn't no Bullet Boys, and I never even heard of them. So, and there's so many hair bands in that era, you know, like Warren sounded similar, Def Leppard sounded similar, um, Rat, a lot of those guys all had a very, very similar sound, so it's kind of hard to discern uh, one band from another band or anything else like that, but you know, yeah, I never heard of the never heard of the Bullet Boys. So, anyways, quick little video for you guys. Let me know if this is a new Mandela effect for you guys, or if you guys nailed it out of the park and guessed who it was right off the bat because you know Wild Cherry and you love Wild Cherry because you love that song. For me, I love KC and the Sunshine Band, and I know for a goddamn fact that they're the ones who recorded "Play That Funky Music, White Boy." I mean, that was one of their main hits that they always played everywhere. <laughs> and you know, this all I think ties together with these this like Bullet Boys band and this uh, Wild Cherry band, and I'm sure there's a host of other ones out there with all the shit that's going on with these movies now that are coming out, where uh, oh, like the Beatles never existed yet, some guy from Zimbabwe wherever the shit over there in in uh, uh, some other foreign country knows every single word and all the lyrics and all the music to all of the Beatles songs. And in this reality that he now shifted into, the Beatles never existed, so all of a sudden he releases all these Beatle albums. And it goes mainstream wide live. And now I just saw an advertisement, as a matter of fact, right before I made this video, from some other one who's doing another, it's another same type of thing. And these guys are all from like India. They're, they're not Africa, they're like India. And it's another thing. And he's oh, he's coming to America to do his dream and he's a great music, musical singer and he's doing these songs and then like no one's ever heard of them before and they're, they're all classic rock songs. Goddamn ridiculous. Goddamn ridiculous. So all I can say is Mandela Effect Thanks for the memories as you try to take them away. Make sure you guys keep yourself solid, man. Do not question yourself. What you remember, how you remember it, is not confabulation. It is your memory, and I'm sorry my phone's bouncing around a little bit because this road's like super bouncy. It is not confabulation. It is not misremembering. And it is not inaccurate. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out the new uh, video from Chris Sinatra, of um, uh, head on over to his his uh, page and check it out. He's redynamicing to um, the Quantum Businessman, so it may come up weird in the feed when you try to look it up because he changes his his, uh, his business channel over to that, the Entree Software channel over to that. So, anyways. Uh, give his video a look. Um, it's just kind of more of an introductory video where he kind of spans a couple subjects. Um, he's just touching on them a little bit. Um, and he's planning on doing a whole bunch more videos. Him him and I and uh, SMQ are all in communication through emails and, and Twitter. And, and uh, uh, him and I Skype, you know, Chris and I Skype all the time. So we're, we're, we're chatting. And um, I know that the plan for me, actually, uh, at least with Chris, is to try to get together and do a couple more joint videos. I know he likes to do the high produced stuff. Um, SMQ is all off camera stuff. I'm just typically in my car or walking around or sitting in the living room or something like that. I don't like doing all the, I don't have time and I don't like doing all the uh, high, highfalutin uh, 
uh, cleaning it up and all that other crap. So what you guys get out of me is what you get out of me, man. No background music, no BS, just me and my phone. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video with anyone you know. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hey, go check out uh, some musical uh, songs because, again, this one is a new one for me. Maybe it's an older one for some of you guys, but I didn't know about it until my wife just brought it up because I've always just known. I mean, I've heard that song a thousand times in the last couple of years. Excuse me. That's not in my teeth. But I've always known it to be KC and the Sunshine Band. So, anyways, until the next video, guys, peace be with you, man. Take care.